Speaking of kindergarten, we of course are starting with our song of the month, Unique, so you can listen to that if you would like. Um, and then we're going to review what we talked about last week. We talked about some new pitches, and they were called Soul and Me. So let's look at them again. So we have our music street, and Soul is the higher note, and then Me is down low. And remember that so and me always have something in between them. But so is always going to be higher and me is always going to be lower. So look at these again. So we talked about this last week. So so is the higher one. So that means this melody would be so, me, so. And then we have our shh on the end. So let's look at it again. So remember so is up here. So so is high, and I, if I wasn't sitting down so low, we'd kind of put it up in front of our shoulders, but I'm holding it up high so you can see it better. But there's soul, so put your hands on your chest again, and then bring them straight out, and there's soul, and then me, remember, is kind of like they're sitting flat down on a table or something. So we have so me, so shh. All right, try that again. So me, so shh. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, let's see if you can figure that one out. Does it start on soul or me? Right, which one's higher? Because it starts on the higher note, doesn't it? Because this is down low and this is up high. So that's got to be soul. And if this is soul and this stays on the same line, then that also has to be soul. We have so, so, and then it goes down to me. So, so, me. Shh, sing that with me. Ready, go. So, so, me. Shh. All right, let's look at the next one. Does this one start on so or me? It starts on me, because it's down on the bottom, right? So we have to start down here. Me, and then it stays the same. So if it starts on me, it stayed the same, so it's still on me. And then it goes up to so. So we have me, me, so. Shh. Sing that with me again. Show me me. Here we go. Me, me, so. Shh. Okay, let's look at this one. Start on me or soul? It starts down on our lower note, so we know that that's got to be me. And then it goes up. It didn't stay the same this time. It went from me and then went back up to what? It went back to soul and then did it stay the same or did it go down? It stayed the same, so it's still soul. So we have me, so, so, shh. All right, start on me. Here we go. Me, so, so, shh. Do that one more time with me. Ready? Start on me. Here we go. Me, so, so, shh. And our last one. Does it start on soul or me? It starts on soul because it's on our higher note. And we have so me, me. Shh. Let's do it one more time. Ready, go. So me, me. Shh. And remember, we said that if so is on a line, me is on the line below it. And if me is, sorry, if so is in a space, me is in the space below it. They always want to do the same thing. If so is on a line, me wants to be on a line. If so is in a space, me wants to be on a space. Their best friends always want to do the same thing. Okay, and this is called Melody Maker, and I did not mean to leave this in here. So if you want to play around with this, you can. Um, I think this is what I was going to do. Maybe this is what I was doing. I was going to show it to you on a staff. I knew there, well, I guess now I remember what I was going to do with it. All right, so we said if soul is on a line, and that means me is going to be on the line below it. So we can make our own melodies with soul and me. 
So if I do this, then let's read our melody now. Then we've got, so me, so me. But let's say, let me move that soul back down here. Now, what does it read? Now our song, now, now I can't remember if I told you this before, but we read music from left to right. So just like you read a book from left to right, or left to right, you're going to read music from left to right, just like this. So it's, so me, me, me. And then let me reset it. So you can click reset to clear it if you want to write some of your own melodies here. Um, let's see if I put so in a space. So let's put so in this space. Then that means that me is going to be in what? If so is in a space, me is in the space below it. That's right. So it'd have to be in this space right here. So me, and let's see, how about if I do this this time? Now our melody sounds like this. So me, so, so. So you can see how we can start writing melodies with our pitches we already know so far. So you're already learning how to write songs. So feel free to come play with this if you would like to. And here's our new song. So this is called, Let's Get Started, and that uses so and me. So every time we get to that part on the chorus, we're going to sign that part. So I'll show you. Let's just listen to it, and you'll figure it out as we go along. Here we go. and softer so our dynamics were changing that's a big word called dynamics and every time we say in the chorus let's get started that's so me so me so that's a great way to practice those two pitches okay we're going to move on to the magic forest now this is mr delgadio we've done a story with him before but he's going to be reading a story that uses his niece and nephews 
and they're going to be acting out the story for him. And so I want you to choose one of the ways to act out. So you can follow any of the children. They're turning into trees and rocks. And I can't remember what the other thing is. But rocks are going to roll up real tight like this. And trees, they stand like this. So you choose which character you want to follow in the story. And enjoy this story with Mr. Delgadio. I think you'll really like that a lot. And then I think we have our... Um, exit ticket. So you're going to click start and you say which pitch sounds lower? So or me? So you can know by the answer. We can also listen to it by pressing the play button. So you're going to click. So me. Which one sounds lower? So which one is lower? So it's going to be this one, right? And that is the only question. So you answer that one question, you click Submit, and then you're going to click the green OK button, and then you are all done for this week. If you would like to play Boom Cards, this is a really fun little activity. And it's going to click on here in just a little bit. And you're going to listen to this, and they're going to sing. Um, and they're actually not using So and Me, they're using So and another pitch. Do, we're going to learn about later, but it's even lower. And so they're going to tell you if they want you to put the space or the planet up high or if they're wanting you to put it down low. And she's going to sing it. So she might sing high, low, high. And so you'd have to make the planets go high, low, high. Or maybe she sings low, high, high. Then you're going to do low, high, high. So you're going to make the planets look like what she's singing. So she's going to sing low, high, high. Or what if she sings high, high, high. Then all of them have to be high, high, high. So that's a fun game. And after you listen to her do it and you do um, put them in the right order, then you just click submit and it'll go ding if you got it correct and if you got it wrong it'll just go whoops and you get to go back and try it again so that'll be good practice for you listening to high and low and I was thinking oh yeah the last thing I put in here was the let's get started song there's a video so you can learn choreography to go along with it so there's the teacher teaching you how to do the dance or you could just go ahead and try dancing along with the kids who are doing the choreography. So that's it for this week. So I hope you have a great week. If you have any questions, make sure you message me and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.